Hello. Hello. Why is my... Okay. How are you? I'm good. Um, uh, do you want me to call you Robert or Robbie? Uh, either, um, Robert. Robbie? Okay. Nice to meet you, Robbie. Nice to meet you. Um, so I assume you saw the questions. Yes. Yes, okay. I did. So uh, I'm just going to ask you them. Um, okay. What career did you pursue or are you pursuing? Um, I'm currently a business administration major with a minor in law and ethics. Cool. Um, describe your journey through SLJC. Um, so the first year I applied for SLJC was my freshman year and I actually didn't get in. So I reapplied my second year in sophomore and I got in. And it's definitely one of the extracurriculars in high school that meant a lot to me. Our first year, we did the um, African-American Cemetery Project with the Macedonia Cemetery. And th- so that was a really big thing where we um, interviewed people um, that were part of the project, historians, family members of the deceased. And we um, put together this whole like book and like um, research of our findings. And it was a big deal because we got to present it in Johns Creek at Mercer University. And it was a huge grand project. Um, and so it got us a lot of recognition for it. And it also came up in like local news articles and stuff. The next year, I was a Secretary of State Ambassador with SLJC, as well as um, working on a ambassador project for the COVID um, project, which is the same storm, different bo- boats project. So that one was basically entailing the impact of COVID-19 through um, our communicate our community and seeing how um, that kind of impacted different career paths of people in the um, service industry, the ho- um, the hospital industry, the business industry, the education industry, and moreover. And so I um, also had a special lead in the project with creative designing, and so I designed all the um, physical panels for the project. If you were to see them anywhere, and also helped with kind of like the book and like how the placement should go, what the font should look like, presentations and such. So, um, yeah, it was a big thing. Being a Secretary of State Ambassador also allowed me to do a lot of other stuff like, um, you know, compete in the regional competition, which we won last year. Um, and so, yeah, a lot of things like that. But SLJC was definitely one of those things where I learned a lot because it wasn't about just like studying from a book, you know, it was about like learning from a lot of other people in the community. And so, um, yeah, I learned a lot and I'm really thankful for how much I got to learn um, because it was one of those things that kind of shaped my career for the better. That's very cool. Um, what are some specific skills that you acquired or find during the program? Definitely leadership. I mean, it's in the program's name, but the initiative that you take um, and Also, just like how much work you put into it is all about being a leader, but also someone who knows how to really communicate with people. Everything you do almost is a group project, right? And nothing's going to get done if you don't communicate with others. So communication, um, leadership, some critical thinking skills, you know, what does it take to like develop this project? I mean, of course, there's Miss Sanders and others adults helping you through it, but ultimately the project is what you and your um, peers make of it. And so that was definitely one of them. You can be as creative as you like. I know your first year, you can kind of choose what project you want to do. And if you want to be super creative with it, then, like, that's totally up to you. So a lot of just, like, core, like, competencies that you would use in daily life that really, like, make you work for it. Um, But I feel like leadership, communication, critical thinking, and even all those, like, um, the leadership trainings that we do with, like, our strengths and stuff, definitely those, I would say, are things that I learned and developed throughout the program. (laughs) Good. Uh, this next question is kind of a reiteration of the first, uh, the second question. Uh, describe your group project from your first year. My group project the first year was the Macedonia Cemetery Project um, with the African American Methodist Church that was um, not present anymore. And so it was turned into a graveyard with a lot of different graves from uh, post slavery and the post pandemic a hundred years ago. Um, so it was just like researching those, which had already kind of been done. Um, but we were, I was a narrator for my group project. So once we got all our history together, we wrote a story and I narrated it for the voiceover that went for our video. Um, and it was really cool. There was four videos. Ours was the last one. 
which was um, the future of the Macedonia Cemetery and what it would be like. Um, and I think we talked about like having like panels there for the improvement of it. But also we talked a little bit about like um, what it meant for all these people to be buried there, what their lives would have been like. We were comparing um, one of these couples that died from the previous pandemic 100 years ago um, next to each other. And we just thought that was so interesting because we literally just are going through a pandemic um, right when we were doing that project. So, yeah, that was my first year project. Cool. How did SLJC contribute to your personal and professional success? So I've gained a lot of valuable connections through SLJC. I mean, of course, Ms. Sanders, she's someone who, as an adult, I know I can always rely on, like, academically or even for my personal life. She's given a lot of favors to me and to the community. But also just, like, knowing people. Like, I wanted to go into the law field, for example. And um, I got to meet Judge Rochelle Carnesale, which um, she works for the Supreme Court of Georgia. So those are just such valuable connections to have in your career field. Um, and I feel like even with group projects and things you've done, it opens up so many people in the community to your work and to the things you do. Like with Macedonia and the COVID-19 project, we got affiliated with all kinds of like local leaders, like the city council, Mercer University. And those are such good contacts to have moving forward, because if I wanted to do something in regards to law or um, political science or anything regarding like civil law or civil projects, then I know who to go to. And I think. That's the program, um, the like valuable connections and networking it offers is something that's definitely going to shape my career. And it has been impacted me in a really great way. OK, cool. Thank you so much for your time. No worries. Is that all? Yes, that is Dang, all that was we great. Yeah. OK, awesome. Let me know if you need anything else or if you need anything else to follow up. I'm sorry this got postponed. No, it's fine. OK, um, thank you. Of course. Thank you, Robbie. Bye. Bye.